and uh, i do i deeply apologize the delay in the start of uh, meeting um, so today we are going to see something related to uh, yoga for stress management so this word stress is very common in the academia uh, nowadays um, previously it was much it was a much utilized terminology uh, in the industry whereas uh, today uh, even in academics so, uh, we 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 are very familiar with this uh, term stress right so uh, we need to uh, get some enlightenment uh, regarding some of the techniques that could uh, help you to uh, balance your work and life right so let me bring you across a list of quotes uh, could anyone uh, uh, give, give me a insight of what these quotes are telling so the first quote is never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life right the second one is balance is not something you find it's something you create then you will never feel truly satisfied by work until you are satisfied by life then you can't truly be considered successful in your business life if your home life is in shambles when in doubt right if if you if there arises a doubt choose the kids right then there will be plenty of time later to choose work so these are some of the quotes uh, which are said especially uh, for work life balance right these are quotes that are completely relevant to work life balance so uh your family is equally important uh, like your work so that is very uh, that is the outcome and how to uh, manage the stress environment uh, that is uh, created in your workplace so that is how we are uh, what we are going to see in this particular session right so always remember so your job can be replaced your workplace can replace you but you cannot be replaced by your family right no one can take the role as a father or a son right or as a grandfather in uh, in your place right so everyone must understand that so regarding the overview of this presentation first of all we are going to introduce you to the term stress uh, so most of us may, might be thinking that uh, some disgusting situation would only create stress but uh, after seeing the definition and other things you would find that uh, stress is something more than that then we will be coming across ca- causes of stress then the major challenges which we have to encounter uh, in order to overcome stress in our uh work and life then we have a self evaluation uh, so this self evaluation will help you to understand whether you are in stress or not right then how you can improve uh your work life balance uh, so uh, if you take uh, india poorly so uh, i have to really regret to say that in india the uh, uh work life balance is seeing a very poor face right no which is a country that uh, um gives most importance to work life balance can anyone so most of the european countries used to give a uh, give importance to work life balance the very importantly 
netherlands is the company the, uh, is the country that uh, gives much importance to work life balance and uh, and for your the thing is that uh, the most happiest people are in netherlands and denmark right they are happy with their work life balance right then what are all the responsibilities of a workplace so uh, most of us uh might be in a budding state or uh, stage of uh, your academic career some of you may be seniors right uh, so jovan sir uh... of you may be to roll may be holding i like to ஹலோ <laughs> 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 what are all the yoga based remedies which we are going to see so though yoga is a supplementary remedial stuff uh, we have to much concentrate over um, the general remedies right uh, we are so sometimes uh, you you may be aware that uh, in a particular place they may say it is highly radioactive but there are some medicines that could cure the uh, damages that are uh, created due to radioactive materials but still if you are still in the ra- radioactive place what happens okay right. so it is a uh, highly known uh, risk yeah uh, yes sir uh, we will try to get into it uh, but still i i think some of the uh, points are uh very uh, important yes so what is stress basically uh, so stress is a feeling of being overwhelmed or unable to cope up with mental or emotional pressure so uh, you uh, get overwhelmed because of a situation you become uncontrollable because of a situation and uh, uh reach a level uh or a level of um, mental or physical or emotional uh threshold which cannot be controlled by you this is called stress and it's our body's response to pressure may be uh, a mental pressure or a physical one whatever it may be uh, the way the body responds to this pressure is called stress and it is usually triggered so it is very usually triggered when something unexpected happens so you expect something in your life and uh, something doesn't happen or something that threatens our sense of self or something we have little control over for example if you have a car and if you are trying to uh, learn to um, learn to drive it so uh, during the initial period you may uh, find a lot of stress behind it the reason is because we are afraid of uh, losing control over things and the ability to manage it the ability to manage stress depends on various factors one is your experience right uh, you take some factors into consideration whereas you ignore some other factors this is out of your experience so this is important i can take it in my life it is not important i need not uh, sit in my life right then the genetic factors so some of the factors may be inherited from your father so your father may be easy going and because of that you may also encounter that particular easy going character and uh, some other thing is socio economic factors see for example if you are financially well 
and if you are in a job uh, where you earn some money uh, salary as a monthly salary and if you come across a situation where uh, you you have less control over the situation or uh, you you have uh, uh, something unexpected happens probably a job loss right uh, probably a job loss so then you will not care anything about uh, the job loss common scenarios which we encounter today uh, especially in middle class families uh, is uh, the fear of losing a job right uh, it is this uh, uh, fear which most of the people must have encountered during the covid 19 pandemic right the, then unexpected money problems or probably a health issue or a sudden investment uh, which didn't turn back right uh, uh right then a toxic work environment if your work environment is uh, very toxic so uh, people usually call it a torturous work environment right if if you are uh, uh, getting into a very toxic work environment then uh, you may be encountered by stress but see the last three things so those are the negative factors that contribute to stress whereas these are the positive factors that may possibly contribute to stress right so uh, i am just a person who deals with the yoga a little about psychology and uh, something uh, more about information technology if you go and ask a, a professional psychiatrist he will say well, why moving to a big house will create a stress why gaining a job promotion may create a stress and going on holidays may create a stress so when you gain a job promotion there are a lot of expectations over you yes ma'am sir we can't hear you yeah am i audible now ma'am uh, yes yes now you are audible hmm Uh, so some of them may fear the responsibility which we may have to hold at a time of entering a big house or getting a job promotion or when you are going on a holiday you take the responsibility so the fear of responsibility creates a stress in you so that is one of the major stress factor right these are the past you things that cause yes stress factor right that contribute to stress right then what are all the major challenges today which we encounter right so today we are increasingly uh, there's a increase in demand in work culture so uh, the increasing demand in work culture is for example uh, you take the academia so i think most of us belong to the academia circle and so i am just sharing the scenario in academia right uh, most of us must have encountered this and uh, some of the people may be new to this right uh, say uh, some 10 or 20 years back uh, if you take the culture in academia the process was completely about teaching and learning right so you have to teach a lot a little to learn but now the scenario has completely changed you you teach a little even the student interaction has become has minimized nowadays uh, whereas you have to learn a lot you have to get accustomed to processes like accreditation right for example we have a, a different accrediting bodies bodies and for every accrediting bodies that visit your workplace you may encounter a possible stress right because you you have to create a lot of files you you have to ensure that they are correct you have to take a lot of responsibilities and you have to work more than that of your usual office hours 
so the condition is worse uh, in india right um, and uh, this is a biggest threat to work life balance right uh, this is a biggest threat to the work life balance so how much it is important to be in, so responsible in work that much it is important to be so responsible in your life also right your family is also equally important there are different type of leadership to you you have a family leadership right you have a work or professional leadership right in a family you are uh taking the responsibility of driving the family you are one of the person one of the stakeholders one of the most important stakeholders in your family so the increasing demand in work culture is contributing great as a biggest sir, threat your, to the work life breaking sir yeah uh you know am i audible clearly ma'am i think am i audible yes sir oh yeah yeah thank you thank you thank you for the feedback yes yeah address sir yeah ma'am yeah hope i am audible now okay yeah so some of the challenging scenarios may be the caring responsibilities right the caring responsibility which you take probably in your family as well as the uh, profession as well as in profession especially now the responsibilities take in uh, in your professional life has increased to a very great level right uh, when you know, people talk about rankings right uh, some 20 or 30 years back there were there was no nr of ranking or qs ranking and the work life balance was quite good right and people had a good standard of living and good peace of mind right so the another scenario is your boss may be demanding right? he may be demanding again and again he he requires a lot of uh, things to be put by you probably uh, see uh, yeah ma'am yes yeah. right uh, so your boss may be uh, demanding a lot of work right uh, so he may not get to satisfied uh, with some of your works so he may be asking for perfection and perfection and perfection and it goes on right so work is a continuous process as he said it is never ending it is a infinite it is a infinite loop right it goes on the work goes on but we have to understand what is the limit for the work then some other health difficulties so there are a lot of health difficulties faced by people today right especially uh, aged people may face uh, some sort of uh, health difficulties so these need to be addressed right so uh, is my work life balance unhealthy right it is possible to uh, normalize work so how can it be done so uh, you can you can try to normalize your working hours probably you uh, you have been working uh, working with that particular part or you have the same job role for a very long time you can uh, try to balance your working hours on which we cannot expect in most scenarios right so you cannot expect all the five fingers to be the say is be of same length right uh, the similar thing happens when it comes for work environment also right so uh, though it is not possible uh, this is an optimal condition right all your colleagues may travel the same boat right and uh, so there are five steps uh, to um, check whether you have a good work life balance 
right first of all you have to ask yourself what's currently causing me stress sometimes it is the targets the deadlines that may cause stress or you may be afraid of uh, uh, something that may happen in future right so you have you have to uh, you 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 have to uh, ask yourself what is currently causing me stress and document it first of all right then pay attention to your feelings it is very important you have to pay attention to your feelings you need not care about any others because your health is as important as that of others health also right so first of all you have to pay attention to your feelings so how you feel at this particular moment uh, when you hear the word that is causing stress right then you have to reprioritize reprioritize right you have to reprioritize which is important right oh, which is important in your life what is uh, so important is it your health or the work environment if is it your professional excellence or your health for example you suffer from a very uh, sick scenario right you suffer from a very sick scenario and uh, if you cannot work at that particular time no issues you can take a leave so you 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 have to reprioritize right uh, depending on your condition your mental condition your physical condition right after that you have to consider your alternatives also if still you cannot cope up with that particular work you have to consider alternatives some you, you can find some of the people may switch jobs right so when uh, actually wh- while i was in the acmfc uh, we conducted a survey right we conducted a survey uh, from uh, professionals computing professionals all over the world right uh, it comprised of a survey uh, containing the outcome of uh, nearly uh, the inputs of uh, nearly uh, 500 uh, professionals computing professionals so one of the key thing which they mentioned for switching from one job to another is a bad leadership or a toxic work environment right so nearly 60 to 65% of the people said that it was the toxic environment uh, that made me to switch the job right so you may have to consider certain alternatives finally you make the change to happen right you have to you make the change to happen right right so when it uh, comes for the steps to improve work life balance first of all understand your rights at work right what are your rights at work but in in a uh, in a typical work environment like uh, uh, that in india you cannot talk more about your rights the problem is that you may be fired if you talk more about your rights but uh, probably if there is a provision where you can talk about your rights especially this happens in most of the uh, colleges uh, probably where uh, uh, i have heard in some of the government colleges uh, they used to stand for their rights at work you you cannot make them to sit uh, after uh, the working hours sometimes right they they take up their issue of rights right so they have a very strong union and because of that they take up the rights right but in, in most of the scenarios it is not possible for us to talk about our rights right then speak up when the expectations and uh, demands of work are too much so you have to express right you have to express to your immediate supervisor that the expectations and demands of the work are high right it, it, sorry sir it might not be possible for me to complete this work within this scenario so i i had a very conversation with the one of the uh, founder of uh, to me he is a expert in non conflict 
organizations right so he he usually uh, helps to uh, run organizations in a non conflict way the first thing which he says is that people have to understand the reality right see there may be a lot of expectations there may be a lot of demands but what is the reality that is very important so you have to talk of the reality but even if it if it gives a negative if you give a negative opinion it doesn't matter it should not be taken so personal right that is very important in an organization you have to understand the reality then you have to work on it then try to work smart and not too long right so please don't um, say the say uh, you can uh, work in a very smart manner you you need not take very long hours there are a lot of people who work very smartly right and uh, complete each and every work within the given time right so that's very important and particularly you have to take proper breaks at work so pro- possibly uh, some people may have a habit of moving from one place to another within the same organization in regular intervals that is also very important to work life for work life balance right and you try to draw a line between work and home so usually in some of the countries probably you, if you have if the boss calls you after your work time they may be been laced right uh, but in india it, it's uh, quite different uh, but for our scenario we have to try to draw a line between the work and home right then keep track of your working hours right uh, over a period of weeks or month rather than days so, so you have to keep track of your are you working for 8 hours only are you sparing the time for your family you have to keep track of it right so you have to uh, you have to uh, look into all these things right so uh, in countries like germany uh, you are working hours that's why most of the people used to uh, reside uh, nearby at the company itself so what are all the things they work to do so if are not this openness right so uh, people must be able to talk about a lot of things right people must be able uh, must be able to talk about their feelings to their immediate supervisors so so that uh you you can speak to your immediate seniors or your supervisors when you are under too much pressure you try to make them understand you you help you create an environment where such an openness is there then you have to train managers to spot stress and poor work life balance so what i am trying to tell is not for may not be possible to implement the true itself right but it is possible for a recognition to the humanity right uh, see you have to train managers you, you have to train your hods or your teams or your principals to spot stress so they must identify a, a space where people used to get stressed if if they see a person who is stressed they must be able to identify that they have to call them and they have to help them in some way right to uh, to get relieved from that stress right then offer flexible and remote working where it is possible right so for example in most of the companies they offer they uh, option of work from home and probably we as an academician also would have work from home for a very long period because of the covid pandemic all right but <clears throat> whenever uh, people want to be with their family ask them to be with their family so that 
uh, they can get a feel of comfort and they can get a feel of freeness uh, so that they can contribute more to your work then encourage breaks right whether that's during the working day or by using annual leave vacations casual leaves must be granted right must be granted in a workplace if you want productivity right if you want productivity you have to definitely give them give people vacations because they have to refresh themselves they give them a chance to reboot right just like a system whatever so the, this is a very casual indian system right uh, so whenever uh, there is a uh, problem with your scooter you try to lay it down and uh, pick it up and then you try try to make a ride right uh, similarly if there is a problem with your mobile phone you just try to restart you you just give it a break then once again you start it when it comes for human we don't think so right uh, when it comes for a machine we uh, we think to give them uh, give it a leave for some time and then uh, put it back to work but when it comes for human we usually don't think so but but i would say as as a administrator you must be able to provide them with some sort of breaks some permissions some casual leaves some vacations etc right then you have to reg- regularly review the workload how much work is being done by a person per week or per day <clears throat> it should be noted as a administrator you must note all these things if someone is doing over time work that should be recognized and proper facilitation of uh, proper options should be given to them to refresh or to recreate right because they are sparing a lot of time of to volunteer so you must uh, get into some process where people uh, can volunteer themselves for uh, something good usually uh, most of companies have a, a policy of corporate social responsibility they not only contribute some money but also what they do is they go to some uh, <clears throat> some orphanages or some old age homes and they try to uh, change their way of life at least for a day right then increase support for parents and carers so they are not forced to forced to leave right so if someone has a old uh, has a parent who is uh, of a very old age <clears throat> try to give them an accommodation near quarters right so that they need not worry about their parents if there is a emergency they can go right and uh, that that will help you in a lot of uh, manner uh, then allow to attend counseling and uh, support services during working hours as they would for other medical appointments right as they would do for Uh, other medical appointments so, so please don't uh, ask them with the ml because this this is something that would help your organization you are the betterment of your organization right then encourage them with uh, stress relieving activities such as uh, lunch time exercises or relaxation classes some someone used to uh, have some sort of acupressure uh, uh, therapies that would help them to relieve their stress then ask the employees what would improve their work life balance what can i do to improve your work life balance you please ask your employees you your subordinates how what, how can i contribute to your work life balance sometimes but in in valid cases i think you can grant them with the provisions that are making them happy right so what is the impact of stress on your body Okay. on your body you may have headache muscle tension there are a lot lot other um, these are some of the common problems that are enco- encountered because of the stress right so one is the headache then some sort of tension in your muscle some some may get a tension in your muscle and uh, you are uh, you feel like uh, um, a sprain in your body 
right you you feel like a sprain in your body and uh, uh, it may not get relieved for days that is because of uh, stress then uh, chest pain this is a common thing when you encounter stress so you feel like uh, you you have a chest pain actually it, it, it do happen right if the chest pain prolongs for uh, days and days so then uh, then you are not leading a good life uh, probably it's time to uh, go to your hospital and uh, undergo some sort of treatment right then fatigue and stomach upset so someone may be constantly going to a uh, toilet because uh because of the stress the food would not have been digested properly that we say that digestive system is very much not only the digestive system the respiratory system as well as your circulatory system uh, your uh, healing capability etc completely de- uh, requires your mind to be in a very free state if you are completely upset or if you are in stress you, the actual core uh, actual uh things so the like the bile juice or the hydrochloric acid that is required for the digestion of your food may not get secreted because of which you may have problems like vomiting your stomach may get upset uh, or uh, you may uh, feel a giddiness right uh, so sometimes uh, i i some people come to me uh, sometimes uh, in the early morning some people used to call me Uh, i feel like i am in stress right please help me with some so the first thing what i usually ask them to do is go to a very free environment where you could get clean air and where you could really enjoy nature right so this these are some of the remedies that could help you to uh uh oh decrease the level of stress and you may get sleep problems probably you may try, you may have to wake up by 5 o'clock but you will be waking up very often right from 12 o'clock then 12:30 1 o'clock you you go on right then on your mood you you feel anxious right you feel anxious you will be restless and you you cannot focus right if you are in stress definitely you cannot focus and you will be feeling as if you are overwhelmed and you would be um, uh, you will express angry outbursts towards uh, people who are coming to you right you will not answer pro- you will not respond properly right and on your behavior you may be subjected to overeating right you may eat a lot or you may not eat anything right then you as i said uh, there will be angry outbursts uh, some of them may consume alcohol or drugs so they may cross the limit of consumption of drugs or alcohol so uh, and some of them may uh get into usage with the tobacco some of them may isolate themselves from the society they don't want to interact with any other right if some if you encounter really if you really encounter some people who don't want to re- mingle with the society please help them to come out of it right please ask them what you feel now right so it would be a, they they require some people to listen to them listen to what they say at least value what you say right so that is what they require some sort of social attention to help a person in stress and they would stop exercising at all right and there are uh, some cases where people have entered into wrong sexual practices like masturbation etc right so uh, those are some of the things uh, that would cause most stress right these are some of the uh, things that that are outcome of <clears throat> stress apart from that there will be some behavioral changes like you will be going on uh, gambling and uh, participating compulsively in 
uh, shopping or internet browsing so people when they are under stress one of the factors that cause a lot of stress is that um, you have a mobile phone right uh, this mobile phone causes a lot of stress it will automatically crumble and it will compulsively ask you to browse through some of the applications like facebook or instagram right so if such type of uh, entity is uh, near you while you are in stress you will you will be simply browsing through all those pages and create a distress in you right uh, so today there is a word called nomophobia right? there is a word called nomophobia what is no nomophobia the fear of losing your mobile is called nomophobia right so this this also this has also become a stress creating uh, uh, aspect now right so <clears throat> what is what are all the remedies right what are all the, now coming to the remedies so uh, uh, during, when i started with uh, uh, this session uh, some some person just uh, had posted we know what stress is but please uh, go on with the remedies because most of us experience but some of them in the peak of their career experience stress some of them in the mid of their career experience stress and some of them right from the start itself they uh, experience stress right so what are all the remedies so the, these are some of the conventional remedies right so if the stress has reached big uh, above a threshold right above a threshold please consult a physician mm-hmm. don't go on with uh, these type of uh, remedies uh, right so uh, that is very important uh, that's a disclaimer too okay right so first of all recognize when stress is a problem right at what moment do you get stressed if you come to your workplace and begin get stressed please get relieved right if you if you but there are certain things which we can change right um, so you can tune certain things so first of all you have to recognize when you are getting stressed right then think about where you can make changes so you can tune it as i said sometimes uh, you, you are very uh, you are getting uh, stressed because of uh, uh, the traffic which you encounter while you are going to your workplace start just a bit earlier probably a 15 minute earlier drive would help you to get relieved from stress right so there are some opportunities something which you can do to get relieved from stress you have to look into those opportunities also then build support your relationships right you have to you must have someone with whom you can share things right in a professional environment or in your personal environment so you are probably in your personal environment if you are married you, you can share things with your spouse if you are not married you can share things with your mother or father if they don't get stressed because of your stress right so some people some of them may be uneducated or some of them may not be aware of the stress uh, which you are encountering because of which they may get stressed so don't uh, stress your parents too right uh, i also don't st- so uh, you just build a relationship who could at least hear what you are saying they may not give you a remedy to uh, oh, what is a uh for the stress which you are encountering but at least they may hear you they may try to hear you uh hear your words listen to you that's very important they may listen to you if you ask them i said to you that uh, right what did you say if at that moment if they say oh, what did you say uh, i don't remember then you you will feel once again stressed you don't have such type of relationship so what you have to uh, have is you have to have a relationship which will remember what you had said earlier what you are but right so build such type of relationship they may be friends um, or your colleagues or maybe right then eat healthily 
ప్లీజ్ ఈట్ హెల్తీ ఫుడ్ ఫుల్లీ న్యూట్రియన్ ఫుడ్ కెన్ బి టేకన్ రైట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు బి అవేర్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ హ్యాబిట్స్ వాట్ హ్యాబిట్ యువర్ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ దమ్ మే హ్యావ్ అ హ్యాబిట్ ఆఫ్ కన్జ్యూమింగ్ ఆల్కహాల్ బట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు బి వెరీ అవేర్ ఆఫ్ దట్ హౌ మచ్ యువర్ కన్జ్యూమింగ్ అండ్ అట్ అట్ అ మోమెంట్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రెస్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ దమ్ మే ఓవర్ కన్జ్యూమ్ such type of uh, uh, narcotics or uh, such type of uh, uh, sedatives or such type of uh, drugs right uh, so uh, you must be aware of that it is it is a good thing that you you are not addicted to such type of habits right if you don't have such type of habits you can go on with right mm. then uh, you have to get some yes so this is you you have to involve yourself in some sort of bodily activity may it be yoga or some sort of ground exercises or aerobics whatever may be there are a lot of practices nowadays uh, they call zumba dance whatever may be you, those are some sort of exercises and you try to get involved in such type of exercises in a daily a spare at least some 15 to 30 minutes on these type of exercises right then take some time out right you have to give some time to be not professionally held up right then be mindful you must be aware of what is happening inside right you have to be aware of it then you have to get some restful sleep right it is very important the quality of your sleep the, not the quantity of your sleep that determines the, the quality of your life rather the quality of your sleep is something that determines the quality of your life right if you could have a sound sleep for at least 6 hours that's enough for us right uh, right if you sleep by 10 o'clock most of them will start is by 8 o'clock in the evening they start rolling 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 and only by 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock they start to sleep then uh, they will sleep for hours up to 10 in the morning so that is not a good thing uh, what you must have is uh, you can go to bed by some 10 o'clock or 10 o'clock and you can wake up probably by 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock that's up to you right but the the sleep must be of good quality it must be a very sound sleep and finally you have to be kind to yourself you must understand yourself and you have to be uh, we are good in being kind to others but we are not so good in kind to be to us right to uh, this is a usual mentality uh, so people who are kind to themselves are uh, stress free right other remedies are you, you must have some uh, regular physical activity some then you must have some relaxation techniques uh, you must have some you must you, you must have uh, some sort of relaxation uh, techniques uh right uh, uh like uh, deep breathing observe in most of the movies right whenever a uh, hero gets a uh, stressful environment he takes a deep breath uh, brings in self awareness and then start executing a lot of things right so a deep breath is very uh, important right then you 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 must have some meditation practice you can have some meditation practice you can have you can uh, practice some yoga and there are um, methodologies like tai chi right there are methodologies like uh, tai chi or uh, massage right uh, or massage that would help to <clears throat> that would help to um, uh, relieve your stress and uh, you you can he- keep a good sense of humor that you can have a good sense of humor you can uh, you can be humorous but without hurting the um, uh, emotions of others right without hurting others you can have a good sense of humor right and uh, that you can spend some time with your 
family not some time more time with your family and friends that would improve the quality of your life right <clears throat> quality of uh, uh, the standard of living is different from quality of life that's uh, totally uh, different things uh, what i am talking about is the quality of life right i am not talking about the standard of living right and uh, put some time for your hobbies probably i i get some time to play music right that helps me to get relieved from most of the stress right everyone encounters a stressful environment but still it is up to us to set aside some time for our hobbies so listening to music is a hobby we say so you can read some good books right uh, you can uh, if you're a good musician you can play for some time play that music instrument for the same time and you know they usually say singers uh, are very gifted right singers are very gifted because they they sing whenever they feel stressed and they get relaxed right so uh, that's one of the uh, gifts now <clears throat> coming to the major thing uh, major theme of the uh, presentation that is yoga for stress so when it comes for yoga yoga contains a lot of uh, uh, components uh, like uh, pranayama asana pratyahara etc right so uh, when people ask me about introduction to yoga i just go on with that this is the first time i am handling a, a session of stress management uh, using yoga but i usually people uh, even if i am uh, going for a yoga session people are usually use me uh, ask me some questions like uh, how to handle stress and another one thing is how to control obesity right these are the two common things so people ask me uh, when i talk about uh, yoga right uh, but yoga uh, contains a lot of things like uh, <coughs> uh, breathing exercises which we do term pranayama meditation which we term dhyana uh, physical postures uh, which we term uh, asanas and uh, finally yoga nidra which, which is a state of samadhi right a state of samadhi and uh, not a exact state of samadhi but uh, uh, what is a it is almost congruent to your samadhi state right so how does uh, yoga help to uh, relieve stress so the first thing is i had said that you you, you have some uh, good exercises right so most of the exercises if you go to a gym or if you do your ground exercises what happens is you uh, get a lot of tiredness but uh, when it comes for yoga the major advantage is that you can promote your flexibility you can relieve the tension and uh, alleviate your pain but uh, you will not feel tired right that is the importance of yoga yoga is a energy conservation technique where uh, whereas most other exercises are energy consumption techniques right uh, <clears throat> it the self to uh, release the physical blockages such as uh, muscle knots and uh, release the emotions and tensions there is something called the kundalini yoga where uh, they focus on the chakras right uh, they focus on the chakras and uh, uh, meditate uh, so i am just giving you a word but the process is very deep i am just uh, through they try to raise the kundalini because of which these uh, because of this the Uh, topmost chakra the sarasara rise is getting enlightened and because of that you may not get stressed in most of the scenarios <clears throat> then yoga helps to boost the mood boosting endorphins that is a natural pain reliever right it is present in your body and it usually helps you to relieve the pain and then it enhances the awareness right it enhances the awareness it boosts the concentration and 
centers your mind whenever you are uh, making a meditation right uh, you, you will become you will be very calm and you will try to uh, improve your self awareness right you will try to improve your self awareness because of which uh, you the uh, your concentration gets boosted right and you cultivate a feeling of love joy and serenity uh, you cultivate a feeling of uh, love joy and serenity so if you had uh, watched the film it's men right uh, people used to say there is a small line small boundary between serenity and rage right so if you are stressful you can enter the state of serenity if you think of the good things in your life and you will enter rage if you think of your bad things in your life right so let us think positively and the breathing practices i think this won't be a good session for me to explain the breathing practices but i will give you some of the breathing practices that helps you to uh, get relieved from stress right uh, these are some of the breathing practices one is the nadi shuddhi pranayama right uh, so uh, before practicing these type of breathing practices you please contact a certified or a proper yoga master <clears throat> because uh, I, if i literally say uh, you to follow uh, such a things uh, you may not follow all those things right uh, we'll see um, so uh, before uh, trying to practice all these things please go and consult a yoga master and then tell him so that these are the things which i want to practice or you just tell him that uh, you feel stressed he will give you uh, he will probably help you to practice all these pranayamas and asanas right Uh, if you are available in my venue i can help you to uh, practice these pranayamas but uh, since uh, <coughs> most of you <coughs> are, uh, are from different locations you please try to uh, consult a good yoga master and i, I usually don't promote uh, uh, things in uh, youtube videos the Uh, with relevance to yoga the reason is that uh, some of the things which need to be taken at most care may not be uh, known to you be- while you start practicing it so that's the reason why i ask you to consult the yoga master but you you can take a note of this and probably i will i shall share this presentation through <coughs> uh, through your uh, uh, coordinator so that uh, you can refer this or you can uh, go through this uh, at some moment and uh, find that uh, something may be useful out of this presentation right the first one is nadi shuddhi pranayama then uh, then the ujjayini pranayama it is it helps you to control the um, phase of breath then the kapalabhati pranayama kapalabhati pranayama is not only a breathing technique but also a yeah, nostril cleansing technique then sitali pranayama sitali pranayama helps you to cool your, your body even during hot climate if you want to cool your body you can just uh, go on with the sitali pranayama that also cools your mind then we have simhasana simhasana is not just a pranayama it is a combination of a pranayama and a asana right then i will show you some of the asanas uh one is marjari asana right uh, this calms your mind and releases the stress right this calms your mind and uh, releases the stress uh, some call this the god pose and uh, along with this uh, we have we have the uh, cat pose also uh, so instead of looking up if you are looking down uh, taking up your uh, um keep right uh, that is the cat pose the next asana is balasana so it is somewhat easier to do and one 
basic principle which i would like to say is whenever you bend forward you just release your breath and whenever you bend backward you take your breath this is a common uh, philosophy that is followed while doing an asana right so this asana helps you to focus and restore your energy and it supports the mental and the physical relaxation and you try to do it for at least some 30 seconds right but uh, once again i am saying i i will not recommend you doing it on your own please consult a yoga master to do this practices then comes vibhrita karani right vibhrita karani is uh, so here uh, we have shown a person who, who was uh, the uh, legs uplifted right uh, who have the legs uh, uplifted uh, in some, uh, while you are going to some other uh, um, masters they may ask you to hold the hip by your hand and once again uh, ask you to raise your body right so the importance of this one is uh, it uh, boosts the limb flow and the circulation right uh, limb is uh, very important for your immune system right uh, limb is very important for your immune system and that's why the limb flow and circulation the boosting of uh, limb flow and your uh, circulation will help to defend most of the uh, diseases as well as help you in faster uh, faster uh, healing right and uh, this is savasana savasana is a state of uh, pure restfulness right so you have to relax completely and uh, lie down on the mat right uh, take care that you are not getting grounded so you are not supposed to lie on floor what you have to do is you must have a mat and you can just lie on it but before that you must do certain asanas or some other kriyas or um, uh, shuti right uh, some of the cleansing techniques and uh, this will help you to calm your mind and uh, let go the tension so these are some of the research findings uh, due to time constraints i am not uh, um going much deeper into it but uh, it says that uh, uh, the regular practice of yoga has reduced the level of stress depression and anxiety in most of the people so as uh, people from the academy we usually want uh, some sort of papers to substantiate all these things right so for that purpose i have just uh, shown you some of the research findings and you can just go through these uh uh these documents to um understand more about uh, the impact of yoga on stress right and uh, coming to the last uh, thing the bad news is time flies and the good news is you are the pilot and work hard for something we working hard for something we don't care for is called stress and working hard for something we love is called passion so you must be able to distinguish between stress and the passion right so we with, with this concluding quotes i thank you uh, for the opportunity and your patience uh, in attending this session thank you so if you have any sort of questions or queries you can just post it uh participants uh, if you have any questions please uh, ask sir or you can put in the chat box itself